Hey guys, Bronya here. Welcome to this pick a card love reading. And in this reading, we are going to look at your connection and what the potential is with your person and whether it may go the distance. Now, my intention for this reading is that it's a timeless love reading. So when you find this video, uh, it is the right time for you. But to let you know, I did recently uh, post November and December love reading. So if you are watching that at this time, you may want to check those out to see how this reading actually aligns with those readings because they are for um, each zodiac sign. So to let you know guys, if you want to book a re uh, personal reading or healing, you'll find the link to my website down below. And you'll also find the link to the initiation, which is my immersive learn tarot journey. If you do want to learn the art of reading the cards for yourself, um, you can sign up at any time. Doors are always open. And when you jump in, you get immediate access to all the media rich learning modules, videos, bits and pieces, and also access to my private community where you can interact with me. So what I'm going to do now guys is put the uh, three piles of cards on screen and I ask that you really feel into this and choose from your intuition. Now that's often the, the first card or crystal that calls to you. So try not to overthink it and choose from the heart. Enjoy the reading. Let's go to the cards. Welcome to your tarot reading if you chose pile number one and that was the pile guys with the beautiful little amethyst crystal here. So we're going to explore now if this love will last and what the potential of this connection between you and your partner or person of interest is. So I've got the um, six tarot positions here with clarifiers, oracles and a lead tarot energy. So I'm just going to jump in guys and see how this unfolds. So your first card out was intimacy. So there is the sense that this connection can deepen, can unfold and can ex expand perhaps a little bit more and that may be the key for this to actually go to the next step or to come back together. The next oracle was let feminine lead the way and the divine, the divine feminine guys is about surrender, it is about um, heart-led living um, and being able to express your heart and communicate your feelings and being very in touch with that. So what I'm thinking this is saying is that what is required in this connection is a heart opening, is vulnerability, stepping into a deeper sense of intimacy from the heart, okay? And that means maybe sharing the parts of yourself that um, maybe you've kept you've kept to yourself. Maybe your shadow side. Maybe your fears. All that kind of thing. It's time to to bring that to the forefront in this connection. Now, your romance angels. You've got flirt. And you've got to express your love. Hey, so that's interesting. I didn't actually really look at that too closely until just then. So I think it says, you know, it is time to actually express how you feel. It is time to open up beyond where you have in this connection. So it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you may not have, um, you may not have like shared your full heart with this person or you know, if you are in a relationship with this person, there may have been a pulling away, you know, some distance between you guys, kind of a coldness setting in. And if so, it is really time to to connect back and to, to really work on that intimacy and closeness. So in your energy, you've got the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So there could have been some kind of um, like trauma or some kind of hurt here that has gone on in your life that has impacted this connection. So there's a few different reasons for that. The Ten of Cups in reverse could mean that you've gone through a situation that has really affected your emotional well-being and, and happiness. And it could even have been in the deeper past as well. But, you know, when we come into connection with somebody, of course, that's like a big anchor that pulls up all of our past stuff when we are triggered in certain ways. So I'm feeling into that, guys. I'm feeling that in, into that for you. And I've just realized I forgot your lead tarot energy, guys. Very sorry. I'll jump back over here. We'll get back to this one. Ten of Wands is your lead tarot energy. And that is actually about lifting this weight off your shoulders, taking off this heavy, dark cloak that you've been wearing. So I'm feeling a journey with stress, depression, trauma. It could have been with Ten of Cups in reverse, um, the ending of a previous long-term relationship or marriage, um, or the disbanding of a family unit when you were maybe a child, losing that sense of stability and security within that had you armor the heart and close down in that way as a protection mechanism, which is why you're struggling to connect now in this relationship and be truly vulnerable. So the Ten of Wands says it is time for you to 
to release that because it really is keeping you quite stuck in this in the way that you are the way that you are presenting and showing up in relationships so five of cups yeah you can see that the two of cups is right behind you it's like this is so close to going somewhere or so close to reconnecting you know you really just need to to, to turn around and face it, that's what I'm seeing in this card. Now, for some of you, I feel that this could have been um, a breakup or a period of time out from the pers other person involved in this reading. I see the three cups spilt here, and in the relationship potential, I've got the three of cups. So it's like what has been lost, what has been lost, the, the, the water under the bridge, the emotions that have been spilt, we can bring that together in joy again. So there could be a reconnection kind of energy here as well, guys. So time to get over that grief, time to, you know, let go of any negativity or the weight that's really burdening you. It could be some time to do some deeper healing work or shadow work and let feminine lead the way, meaning open your heart and step into greater vulnerability, which is going to lead to greater intimacy and express your love. Now your person is showing up as the king of pentacles, clarified with the full. We've got Taurus energy or other earth sign energy and we have fire energy with the full. So I feel that they are open to some kind of fresh new start here. So if you have had a period of separation, that would be coming back together. Um, or if there has been that kind of distance in the connection emotionally, this would mean, you know, ready to get that spark back, ready to focus on that commitment again that you've made to each other. Um, the King of Pentacles, I feel, is somebody, your person is very secure, stable and solid within themselves. They could be your rock and you really feel that they are the one that, keeps you stable in some ways and that's why if this has been shaken a little bit that's why you're feeling like this you kind of feel like you've lost that inner piece of security within yourself so your person could be um somebody who's quite successful as well they could even be a business owner or something like that maybe they have even been spending a lot of time at work or a lot of time in that area and maybe that has had an impact on the connection as well but with the full here they are open to a fresh new beginning but with the fall there's this kind of energy of it needs to be done from a, a complete clear slate right and from your rebel heart from your truth from your authenticity showing up is exactly who you are and I feel that your person is willing to 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 be unconditional with you that's what I'm feeling so they're showing up as a as a solid a solid person um, a really solid person they may have focused a little bit on material things at some point so maybe they need to come away from that masculine ego driven energy as well and also embrace their their heart so I feel like it is on both sides guys relationship potential three of cups queen of cups that's a cancer energy for me now this is about those three cups that have been lost being raised again in joy. So I feel a resurrection energy. I feel joy. I feel celebration. And we're going to be finishing on the four of wands here. So this can be indicative of, you know, deciding to, so some couples have a break, right? Right before they were thinking about taking that step into engagement and marriage. It's kind of like the make or break break. So maybe you've had the make or break break and it's like, okay, if we come back together you know, this time we have to commit deeper, King of Pentacles, and trust that we are each other's person. So I'm actually feeling like a level of escalation into the seriousness of the connection. Queen of Cups can be a person in this mix. Um, one of you may have been seeing a counselor or therapist or, you know, getting psychic readings, listening to tarot readings. The Queen of Cups can be somebody who is advising in that way through intuition. The Queen of Cups could, for even some of you, have been a, a third-party meddler. I'm not necessarily talking about somebody that they were cheating with, but somebody that was kind of involved in some way um, in the situation. But the Queen of Cups can also be the offering of that single cup. I'm expressing my love to you. I'm opening my heart and I'm telling you how I feel. And the cards are saying that, yes, you know, that will be a reciprocated. There is a sense of of celebration and planting new seeds in this connection 
So in the, your your challenge, Knight of Wands and the Sun. So the Sun is a beautiful positive energy, but it is in the challenge position. And the Sun can be the healing or putting that behind us, leaving the past in the past, putting what we've just been through behind us, overcoming that obstacle may be a, a challenge for you guys. So you're really going to need to catch yourselves if you get re-triggered by that. The Knight of Wands is about moving forward to new passions, the new frontier, the, the new chapter. So there could be some challenges around that for you guys and actually leaving behind what has happened and stepping into the rebirth of this connection. Or, you know, if you're just coming together, yeah, really birthing birthing this relationship okay but if you do you know the the sun followed by the empress followed by the four of wands these are such big positive happy energies manifestation energies you've got a lot of fire energy here as well which is about passion is about chemistry is about all of that all of that coming through so in the advice, I've got the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Guys, this is like a bit of a, there's a bit of Aries energy here for some of you as well. If you are an Aries or dealing with an Aries, that is definitely here. The, the advice says that you can absolutely manifest birth this connection. Some of you may even uh, be wanting marriage and children. That is really strong conception themes here as well, or creating a family in whatever way you choose to create it. Um, the Queen of Wands is saying to you, have the determination, have the determination to follow this if you feel that is where your heart lies, okay? Because the Empress says you, the conditions are just right to go to the next step here, to go deeper, to birth the next stage of this connection. And, you know, talking about let feminine lead the way, the cards I think of, primarily or well, the card I think of is the Empress she is about yeah you need to do your bit which is express your love share your heart share your feelings but you also need to surrender and allow this to unfold we can't you know push somebody else we can't control them we can't make up their minds for them but it's really about just opening that right amount and then allowing us to move forward and, and meet us in that so that is what I think let feminine leads leads away means and actually I feel that that's going to result in a deeper level of intimacy for you guys okay so that is what I'm seeing there and yeah so queen of wands is all about the new as well all about the new manifestation taking that bold move into that and your outcome is the three and four of wands so another three we've got three 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 that is an angel number for you to go and google that is a master number that says that ascended masters are working through you and helping you guide helping to guide you through the situation for me the three of wands is it's when we've put whatever water under the bridge behind us and turned our back on that that's when we can move forward to the new manifestation in this connection and that is when we start to see our ships come in that is when we start to feel like we've reached another milestone in this connection and come back in a very stable secure place like the four of wands is known as one of the most stable energies um yes it does talk about yeah en engagement and marriage it is the card of happiness it is the happy ever after card in a love reading um we've also got another master number master number coming through with the 1111 formation there as well so if you're seeing 1111, um, pay attention to your thoughts and what you're thinking about at the time that you see it, because it is a portal of transformation saying there is the opportunity to transform this. Um, yeah, so the cards are saying basically put the past behind you, whether it's your own past and hurts or something that has transpired with this person and really get focused on happiness on the new chapter and creating this as you would really want. Um, so to answer the question, will this love last? I absolutely believe that the potential is there for this. I mean, the Empress and the Three of Cups are like, they're really saying to you, whatever seeds that you plant now really have the ability to flourish into some beautiful new beginning. Let the burdens fall away. Let the stresses fall away. And yeah, step into joy with your person. 
So I will leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this uh, channel tarot message. Um, it's been a pleasure to read your cards and I'm wishing you all the best with your person. Do take care. Bye for now. Welcome to your tarot reading for those of you that picked pile number two with the beautiful clear quartz crystal. Uh, what I have here for you is six tarot positions to explore your energy, your person's energy and the potential of this connection with clarifiers. I also have some oracle cards and a lead tarot energy. So I'm just going to jump in and, and read this and see how it unfolds to answer the question of will this connection last. So the first two cards out from the beautiful journey of Love Oracle were Ethereal Touch and God Speaks. It's a very spiritual energy. It's very much like your angel spirits and guides are trying to get your attention and share a message with you. So you might have been getting, uh, you know, angel numbers come through, those little like butterfly feelings in your stomach, or some weird kind of signs and synchronicities coming in. If so, definitely pay attention to those because I really feel that that is your spirit team, your guides trying to, to help you get the clarity that I can feel that you are seeking on this connection. Now, the Romance Angels, you had romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, you know, they're absolutely, you know, there, there are feelings here. There is, um, you know, potential that there's been, there's been love here. Um, whether that is going to be reciprocated on both sides moving forward, that is what we're here to explore. Uh, we do have codependency, which says addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, codependency, it can come in so many different forms, guys, from really feeling like we, you know, that we are a half, not a whole, when we come together in a connection, to our own issues with money or food or over-exercising or gaming, all those kinds of things that can have an impact on how we come together in partnership. So there could be something there to be explored either for you or your person. Four of Swords is your lead tarot energy, guys. And I feel that things are on pause here at the moment with you guys. You know, the Four of Swords can be that you you could be on a, on a break at the moment or one of you has pulled back and retreated, um, maybe kind of shut down emotionally to you in some way. It could be because there's been a hurt here. There's been a struggle or challenge. I see the Three of Swords there. So there could have been some kind of uh, really big argument that you've had. There could be the potential that there was somebody else, you know, in the situation as well. And I feel that you have pulled back your connection a little bit here in order to get the clarity to move through. There is a sense that you're seeking some kind of breakthrough here, some kind of change. You could also be seeking the truth, wanting to know exactly where you stand, what is happening with this person. I feel like your person may not have been forthcoming with where they're at in the connection, what their thoughts really are. So let's jump into the read. Uh, in your energy here, I've got the Nine of Wands clarified with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords um, is a Gemini energy that could be meaningful for you. But the Nine of Wands in your energy is an energy of struggle. It is an energy that you have kind of battled this for some time. Um, you could have been feeling unhappy or unstable in this connection for yeah, like I said, for, for a duration, we've got two nines here. It could be nine weeks, could be nine months for some of you. It's kind of like I've weathered the storm with this person. I've got the scars to show. We've been through a lot, um, but I feel like you have carried a lot of that stress and you are now just, let's say, one wand away from getting to the ten of wands, which is I need to release this burden. It's draining my energy and it might even be having an impact on your health. And it could be because Knight of Swords, there has been... Um, an argumentative nature to this connection, harsh communication and that kind of thing. Um, the Knight of Swords can be, you know, somebody who's quite unreasonable in, in the way they, they communicate with you or the way they operate in the relationship. So that's what I'm feeling there. Again, in this particular Knight of Swords, I do see someone who, look at that Ace of Swords, look at that Ace of Swords and it's there as well. It's like, and there, it's like, you're looking for that one little aha moment to tell you what to do here because you're kind of already on the edge waiting to to go through that portal like so for me that either means you are 
really a, you've got one foot out of this you're really ready to to go to, to to jump into a new direction is what I'm feeling to go through to 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 walk away is what I'm feeling here guys because and it's not because you want to I don't feel like you want to at all I feel that you have just had enough and it's more like I can't actually put myself through this anymore and isn't it interesting that the person that holds the final wand is your person which for me means the ball is in their court or has been that they have had the control or power over this for a while so your person's coming through as the king of wands with the universe which is the world energy now this is a leo energy or could be fellow fire sign aries or uh, sagittarius we do have two queen of wands in this reading which is aries energy um your person could be somebody who is quite hot-headed and fiery maybe that's why it always escalates into those kind of arguments they could also have some sense of control or power over you with that codependency card you know maybe they are calling the shots maybe they control the money or something like that is what i'm feeling they are the one that that holds that last action of completion so you could be waiting to see where they feel where they are and you might have had a conversation it could have been a heated conversation and they are saying oh, i'm thinking about it and you're waiting for them to come back to you to see where you stand. In the meantime, you're left here on eggshells in fight or flight going, I don't really know you know, what's going to happen. I'm just in limbo. And your angel spirits guides are trying, to, are trying to give you signs here as well. Now with the world or the universe energy in their field, I do feel that they they think that they're at the, they're at the end of this connection, guys. The, the universe is that last major arcana that says they've actually gone through the final judgment and they are potentially wanting to liberate from this um i think they feel that it's played out and that they are at the end of the cycle with this connection okay so just calling the energies here guys that's what i feel they might be feeling like it's a better thing to to bring this to full cycle now the relationship potential you've got the nine of pentacles and you've got the two of cups in reverse so i feel that this is saying that potentially this karmic connection and contract is complete between you okay that would tie in with what we're feeling there about the world however the the, the silver lining of that is that you're showing up here in the nine of pentacles which is somebody who is you know in solo energy so maybe single has has you know left this but you're showing up feeling, looking, and being better than ever. Look at the difference in energy here. So I feel like this is an opportunity for you to come back to yourself, to heal yourself, to get on with your life, to work on your other achievements, if it's been affecting work and your abundance and all of those kinds of things. The Nine of Pentacles also says that you are independent self-sufficient and have everything within you so if you are feeling codependent or you're feeling like oh i just can't go out on my own i don't know if i'd be able to survive it's just going to be a different kind of struggle the cards are saying that you will have everything that you need and you will be very very magnetic and you're showing up in a really good energy here so the the challenge king of swords and now the four of swords is turned up in reverse so the challenge may be um, actually getting your person here to, if, they, if they're on pause or put, they've put this on pause, getting them to actually give you that last answer, you know, to, you just need to know either way so that you can move on basically. And I feel that that King of Swords there represents that, that clarity that you need, that, that Ace of Swords that you've just been like wanting from them, that communication that clarity that answer it's in the challenge position so you may need to be the one that steps up and and really you know initiates more communication here so that maybe you can sever those ties um yeah and that's how you can come out of this pause that you're on that's why i'm feeling that it's in the in the challenge position because they're holding they hold that last that last piece so the advice is temperance and the queen of wands so the advice is interesting here yeah i mean i feel that there is going to be some kind of like here we see temperance with two cups and they're kind of you know working with them here there could be some kind of 
I feel like there could be some kind of reconciliation, but I do feel that you're going to walk away from this. So it could be that you have a real heart to heart here and you get back on good terms. Um, and mutually you decide, well, you know, queen of wands, we're going, we're going to go our separate ways and move on to our own new, new, new purpose. The temperance can also be that divine guidance coming through that you need in order to find that path out of this. It's also you coming back into a really stable place mentally, emotionally, and physically. And it's also saying moderate yourself. If it is you that's getting really exasperated and argumentative or very reactive here, the cards are saying you're going to need to moderate yourself through this like sorting this out so that yeah things don't don't escalate basically but temperance is a healing energy I think that there is a sense of healing and there is a definite sense of moving on to the new frontier if your person is an Aries I feel like they may actually be the one to to say you know I'm, I'm out of here but we really do have an energy here with the eight of cups and the queen of wands in your outcome of leaving this connection because there's a realization that you can't complete the picture here and that missing piece that you've needed just isn't here and that could be that your person is unreasonable or they are controlling or they're not expressing their heart with you that's maybe getting you into an exasperated state because you're really like demanding that of them but they just can't give it you can't complete that picture with them. So there could be an awakening. That the Ace of Swords coming through could be your awakening to that truth. And finally deciding to put this behind you and, and move on to then try and find that ninth cup, which is the cup of wish fulfillment. And the Queen of Wands is about being determined, using all that strength and determination to move towards your passions, purpose and desires, to take back the control and the power, that wand, into your, yourself so that you are calling the shots. You are the one that says, no, I'm leaving. I'm off to manifest the new here. So that is what I have for you guys in this reading and I do wish you all the best if this is your reading. I'm sorry that it's maybe not what you wanted to hear but you are showing up in a really amazing energy beyond this. So do take care and um, I hope that resonated for those of you that it is meant for. Um, I am wishing you much love and magic. Bye for now. Welcome to a love tarot reading if you chose pile number three with the beautiful little rose quartz here. So what I'm going to do is read all of these cards that were in the pile for you to determine if this love will last. I've got six tarot positions with clarifiers uh, for your, you and your person and the potential energy in this relationship. I have a selection of oracle cards and a lead tarot energy. So let's just jump in and see how this comes out. First card out was Sensual Awakening. Guys, we have the Passion card, we have the Ace of Wands. There is definitely chemistry here on both parts, okay? Um, and you might be feeling some deeper levels of sensuality awakening within you. Um, I feel like this could be a deeper connection, okay? Now, the next one out was the Temple. And I'm not feeling temple as in tower energy, but what I see here is actually two people coming together in divine union. Almost, you know, dare I say it, guys, it's a marriage or engagement energy. And I have that oracle card here from the Romance Angel. So I feel that there is um, like a higher commitment potential here. There is a potential for this to go the distance and maybe turn into a traditional relationship. So we also had passion from the Romance Angels, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So it's like, you know what, just enjoy all of this. And engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Actually, I didn't even read that wording on there before I said it. So there you go. Um, yeah, so basically if you're just meeting this person, then you know that potential is there. If you're already in this connection, that could be that you're about to go to the next stage. Overarching lead tarot energy is three of cups. This again is about celebration. It's about joy. It can be an engagement party. It can be maybe that you, you'll meet this person at a wedding celebration or a party. But it's a real energy of fun, of spontaneity, 
coming together in, in harmony and celebration and planting the seeds for the future. So I feel like, yeah, there is that real sense that you can plant seeds here and grow something really good in this connection. So we'll start with your energy, okay? Because you've got the two of pentacles and the knight of cups. So there is some unsure energy on your side here. The two of pentacles could mean that you're deciding um, about this person, maybe feeling a little bit indecisive, a little bit unsteady. It comes in with a knight of cups. It's a Pisces energy. So this could be somebody that's just it's made you an offer and it could be the offer of, of higher level of commitment, they could have asked you to marry them, to go exclusive, to take things to the next level. But for some reason, you are feeling a little bit unsure about that. Now, I think it's possible for those of you that are just meeting this person that one of you may need to wrap up a connection, um, okay, to like step into this. So that it could be you. It could be you with that two of pentacles can be. I'm going to need to put one of these pentacles down. There is some reason why you can't just um, come together immediately is what I'm feeling. But all of the passion, all of the chemistry and all of that is there. So Knight of Cups, yeah, they are showing up as somebody who is very authentic, somebody who is quite ready, I feel, to to open their heart to you. And they want that high level of commitment. Their energy is Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, guys. Like, passion all over this person. Um, they could be somebody who is quite uh, attractive. They could be somebody who's really confident as well they could be somebody who is on the kind of public stage or puts themselves out there in some way maybe on social media that kind of thing so that's just for some of you but they're showing up here as really wanting to offer their passion to you the ace of wands is a card of passion and chemistry and i just see somebody riding into your life right with this wand and this also has that celebration kind of energy to it you know wanting to take things to the next level so it's a victory card as well they see you as a victory somebody they want to take action with somebody they want to plant the seeds of the future with somebody who they want this passionate new beginning with so i feel that the indecision energy is i have to say i think it's with you so the relationship potential is the two of wands with the lovers okay so the lovers of course is that energy of soulmates and soul connection and divine union it is the card of gemini, gemini for those of you that like to know so that energy is there we also have the two of cups in this reading so there is a, a soul contract or karmic contract here in this connection is what i'm feeling comes in with the two of wands and I feel, again, this is your energy. I mean, look at this. You're so, sort of like sitting in your castle, which for me is the comfort zone, the present where you are. And you are wondering whether to accept this offer, this wand of passion. And you've got another wand here tied on to your castle. So I feel that you may already be in a connection. You may be living with somebody and the passion's died out from that. Then somebody comes in with a passionate offer and you're going okay I now I'm in a tricky situation you know there's a sense that you know there is a world of potential you know outside of where you are now but of course you're going to need to make some hard decisions um, the two of wands is about future planning I think you can see a future with this person and you, you would like to move towards it and make some plans but you have uh, a really big decision of course that's making this this makes sense now you've got a really big decision on your hands and I think you are going through some real emotional um, discomfort and and unsteadiness at the moment okay so in your um, challenge two of cups three of swords yeah the challenge is bringing this together and you being able to offer your cup back to the person that maybe has already expressed their feelings or heart to you yeah, we've got this like Leo energy with the, the the lion here looking down over you. Your other person could be a Leo or a fire sign. But this also says to me that coming together in divine union requires the strength and courage. I say that because 
the Leo energy is associated with the strength card. So there's going to need to be strength and courage to three of swords, sever some ties with an existing partner and go through that hurt and healing before you can come together with this person. So it's quite clear there, I feel, guys. So in the, in the advice, I've got the eight of swords and the star. Yeah, so the advice is that one of you needs to free yourself. And one of you may need to stop overthinking this and taking that real sort of intellectual approach to this. This is something you're going to need to feel into because only you know what to do. You're going to need to, to really feel into your intuition. The star is the card of divine wish fulfillment. So the advice is move towards the person that you feel really answers your deeper call, your hopes, dreams and wishes that sets your soul on fire that makes you feel grounded, that makes you truly feel at home, that is the answer here. And then we end the reading on the Emperor and the Three of Cups, right? So that Three of Cups again, which is interesting because it's like, you know, you will celebrate this very soon. The Emperor, that's Aries energy. Look, this can be, um, this could be the person that you're moving towards. It is, um, the Emperor is somebody who is very, very grounded, very, very stable. It is somebody who is probably traditional and wanting traditional commitment. So there goes the marriage theme there. It can be somebody who protects themselves emotionally a little bit, even though they've made this offer to you. They might be kind of, they're sort of sitting there waiting for you to come to them is what I'm really feeling. But there is a sense that they know that they hold this kind of sense of authority in the situation, that they really are in their power I think it is somebody who wants to build an empire with you, wants to build a, you know, a stable, solid, secure kind of future here. And then the Three of Cups, guys, I mean, that is that joy, celebration, harmony. If we plant these seeds, they will grow. Let's grab one or two more. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, that's an energy of um, assessment, I think you're being asked to really assess the quality of your current connection. Is it giving you what you desire? Because the Seven of Pentacles is you planted seeds there, but you've arrived at a point where you're not fully satisfied. But then there's somebody else here behind that that is saying, you know, let's, let's plant these seeds and grow it into a really abundant harvest, one that we can celebrate, one that's full of joy. And then I have Temperance, which is Sagittarian Energy. We are in Sagittarius energy at the moment. If you are watching this in December when I am releasing it, even though it's a timeless reading, it could be that that is when, see those two of cups, those two of cups can come together in union. It is also you coming into a really strong place of stability again, of you know grounded mental, emotional, physical well-being and finding the path forward that is best for you towards that sun energy a positive fresh new start so guys that is your love reading about can this connection last well i feel that there is somebody come in for you and your challenge is to move towards them or stay where you are you have free will but bearing in mind if you do stay where you are you generally will get the same result unless there is big change or big transformation so i wish you all the best with this love reading guys do take care bye for now